Hi guys, we made it to the final two. I'm so excited. So for OPI and TNA's All-Stars, we're at the final challenge and OPI just released their collection um, based on Mexico City. And so this challenge was to create a mural on five nails based on Mexico. So when I was thinking of what to do for this mural, I was thinking of how OPI is celebrating the culture of Mexico. They're celebrating the release of all of these colors. So why not do a mural based on how Mexico celebrates? So I decided to paint the Zocalo in the background, which is the main place where there is huge celebrations. Um, so anytime they are celebrating anything like Day of the Dead, they do it there and they throw these big massive celebrations. So I thought this was a perfect um, place to paint in the background and I put fireworks on top and on the left side, we have two folk dancers, traditional Mexican folk dancers. And on the right side, we have Aztec dancers. I had a lot of fun doing the research and, you know, getting to understand their culture a little bit more because I live so close to Mexico and I've never been there. And um, now I definitely want to go. Also, last week I ended up winning the avant-garde challenge. So thank you so much to everybody and OPI and Nails Magazine because that's just amazing. I spent so much time making that bottle and I was really excited um, to see everybody appreciate it so much. So thank you for that. To start these nails, I painted one coat of Mikasa Sukasa. Then I loaded my brush with Mikasa Sukasa, Mariachi Makes My Day, and Alpine Snow. And I just gently floated this onto the nail. So you can see on the side view, I'm not really touching the brush to the nail, I'm just kind of gliding the colors on versus putting the brush to the nail and wiping the whole design off. Once I cured that, I mixed a little bit of black onyx with some top coat, and then I gradually layered this on and blotted the blend line with a dry brush until I had a nice ombre. So I took Mural Mural on the wall and I mixed it with some top coat so you can barely see any color in it and added some nice gold flecks. Then using a striper brush, I painted some fireworks using alpine snow and then I lightly retraced all of my fireworks with all different colors. Here I'm using Don't Tell a Soul. Then I applied a thick layer of the No Cleanse top coat to the middle nail and on a form paper I lined up the nails on either side of it and cured that. And once they were stuck together, I repeated that to get the last two nails on. Then I painted the silhouette using Alpine Snow mixed with Susie's Sling and Matt's Cow. I added some details with all different shades of Susie's Sling and Matt's Cow, mixing it with Alpine Snow and Black Onyx. Then I really wanted to paint some fine details, and I find it best to do that on a very smooth surface, so I just put a layer of top coat down right before I started painting my details using black onyx. Then using alpine snow, I drew the silhouette of dancers and the flag. And then I gradually added color. Top coated it before all of the fine detail work. And then added my details in using black onyx. To make the Aztec dancers headdresses, I painted little feathers onto a form paper, cured it, and stuck them on with some top coat to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I finished the design with the silhouette of a crowd cheering using black onyx. So this is the final look. Um, I hope it completely represents um, the celebrations in Mexico, and I hope you enjoy. I'm going to leave a link below to vote if you want to help me become OPI's first Next Top Nail Artist All-Star. Thank you so much, OPI. Thank you so much, Nails Magazine. And thank you to everybody who's gotten me this far. Honestly, like, this is more than I could ever ask for. So, and I'm so glad to be able to say that I competed, that I competed alongside such amazing people. And I've just had a really great time with this entire experience. So, so thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.